So we turn to the streets of Iran to talk to activists who are risking their lives to oppose the regime and ask them what would they say to President Biden. Gunfire and tear gas wounding hundreds of protesters in Iran last weekend. For months, Iranians have taken to the streets, calling for the theocratic regime to be overthrown. And some talk to Fox News. We are not identifying the activists we spoke to, because if they are caught by the government, they could be executed. My message to President Biden it is that the regime of Iran does not represent the people of Iran. I want President Biden to be by the side of the people of Iran, the people who have been participating in different uprisings. The protests exploded this past summer in Tehran. Thousands voicing their opposition to regime policies, from supporting terrorism to the troubled economy. While the regime is spending the wealth of the Iranian people on nuclear weapons and export of terrorism to the Middle East, what kind of life can people have where 80 percent of the population live under the poverty line? Lifting sanctions or giving cash to the regime will only prolong its life, the life of the barbaric dictatorship. I want President Biden to know that the experience of the past 42 years has showed that the politics of appeasement does not work anymore. For instance, we saw that the nuclear deal of 2015 did not limit Iran's actions toward achieving a nuclear weapon. Some of the protesters belong to the largest Iranian opposition group, the National Council of Resistance of Iran. 